Hello, hello. Happy Monday. Welcome to Mental Health Monday. Today we are talking about practicing gratitude. And if you don't know what that means now, you're going to figure out in just a second. All right. Let's see. All right, guys. First question What is gratitude? Does anybody know? Take a crack at it. Being thankful for whatever you have or um, whatever is giving to given to you. Always remember, always remembering that if somebody gives you something to say, uh, to say, um, thank you. Yeah, that's great. Anybody else? No, that was perfect, Gigi. That was perfect. So gratitude is the state of being grateful. So grateful kind of sounds like gratitude. So that's how you can remember it, yeah? So gratitude is the state of being grateful. It involves expressing thanks, just like you said, Gigi, or appreciation for something. It involves just recognizing all of the positive things in your life and, and how they might affect you. Um, can anybody else think of what gratitude might look like? or come up with an example of what gratitude might look like besides this? I would say, Aaron, the, uh, gratitude would be thanking him for doing, like for volunteering at events and thanking That's the volunteers perfect. every time, saying thank you for helping athletes. and Yeah. That's perfect. That's just showing that you're grateful for them, right? And it probably makes them feel good, you know, to be recognized for it. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. So there are a lot of different ways that you can practice gratitude and not any way is correct. You can do whatever feels good to you. So you can make a gratitude jar, which would just mean writing random things that you're happy about or that you're thankful for and throwing them in a jar or you could just smile in front of people. Smiling makes other people happy and it can make them smile and it could just brighten their day, just something as small as a smile. Um, you could give a compliment each day, you know, instead of just smiling at somebody, maybe you could say, hey, I really love your jacket or, oh my goodness, your shoes are super cool. Something as easy as that. You could keep a gratitude journal, which is what we are going to learn how to do today. Um, you could volunteer. I know Josh said thanking volunteers, but even just being a volunteer for something is a good way to practice gratitude. I see you nodding your head. Yeah, exactly. Uh, number six, writing thank you notes. You could write thank you notes for those volunteers or even just writing a thank you note to a friend. Just say, hey, you know, thanks for being a good friend. You could call a friend. You could call a friend and say thank you for being a good friend. Call them to say hi, check up on them, ask them how they're doing. All that stuff is, is good, easy stuff or easy ways to practice gratitude. So why should we practice gratitude? Believe it or not, you guys, being thankful for stuff and practicing being grateful for stuff actually boosts your immune system. Isn't that crazy? It actually boosts your immune system. It's going to make you happy. It's going to make you want to get outside more often, be more active. It's going to give you more serotonin. It's going to make you happy, one, realizing what you're grateful for. And then usually when you thank people, usually they say something really nice about you or thank you for doing something. If you say, hey, thanks for being a good friend, maybe they could say, you know what? You're a great friend. Thanks for being my friend, you know, makes you feel good. So it improves your mental health, makes you feel good. It improves relationships with other people. So making sure that you say thank you to volunteers or um, if you guys are in sports right now, thanking your guys' as fellow athletes, that improves your relationships with your team. And it also just makes you happier and makes you look forward to the future. Sitting down each night and maybe writing down what you're excited for tomorrow just makes you excited to wake up in the morning, you know, whether or not it's eating eggs for breakfast. If that gets you excited to wake up in the morning, then that's what it is the next day, you know? All right. So the next section is going to be for you guys to help me out. You said thinking, um, 
your volunteers, but also don't forget to thank your coaches because they don't have to take that time. They, they choose to take that time because they want to help you out. So they could be somewhere else if they choose not, if they choose, if they're choosing not to want to help or, or not. Yeah, you're exactly right. You're 100% right. Exactly. You want to thank everybody that's there for you. That doesn't have to, you know, give their time to you guys. All right. So get your guys's papers and pens and pencils ready. And then when I call in your guys's name, be ready to give me your answer. Okay. So if you guys want to put number one on your paper, or if you're putting it in your phone, whatever, just put a number one. So we are practicing our gratitude journal right now. So these are just examples of things that you can do. You don't have to answer these questions every day. You could answer one of these questions or you could answer a completely different one. So first thing I want you guys to do is list three people that you are grateful for. Three people that you are grateful for. Can it be more than three? Sure. Sure. Just at least write three people off the top of your head that you can at least say you're grateful for today. Right this second. All right. While you guys are writing, Tommy, tell me one person that you're thankful for. Um, I have to um thank all my coaches and um staffs but um I would say Reba because pretty soon in the summertime she's going to get married and she she would take her time away from WSRA. And so my favorite coach is Reba. That's awesome. That's yeah. so awesome. And she's going she's going to get married. And I'm really happy for her, but sad at the same time because I would miss her a lot when she leaves. Yeah, yeah. So when they leave like that, it just makes you extra thankful for them because then you realize, oh, my goodness, I would actually miss this person if they weren't my coach, you know? Yeah, for example, Jesse, and and he still, um, he still talk with John and see how, how they're doing and programs and Good, good. That makes me so happy. I love hearing that. Um, Seth, tell me one person that you're thankful for. Um, I'm gonna have to say my uh, my friend. Um, oh, actually, my girlfriend Casey. That's awesome. Um, so, why are you thankful for her, Seth? Um, she's always there for me if I need something. Like, if I need to call her, you know, or I'm having a bad day, I give her a call her, and you know tell her, you know, I'm having a bad day and she's always there for me. So that's awesome. It's amazing to have really good friends there for you like that. You know, that's awesome. All right, guys, number two, on to the next gratitude bullet point. Number two is what was your favorite moment from today? Or maybe what from today can you be grateful for? Maybe you had a really bad day today, but you can find maybe one thing that you can look back and say, you know what? I'm happy this happened today. I'm grateful that this happened today. And whenever you guys are ready, whoever wants to share first, you can go ahead and unmute yourself. Aaron, this is Josh, and my favorite thing I did today was listen to my favorite music on my Alexa device. What's your favorite music? Um, I kind of like the Hamilton soundtrack, the Broadway show. I love so, that. Yeah, it was, it was a great show. Love it, love it. Does anybody else want to share? Mine was, even though it was a sad moment, um, going to a celebration of life for one of my teammates that passed away from COVID, um, not yesterday, but the Sunday before. 
because there was a, a, even though um, there was a little bit of crying, there was more uh, more laughter than tears. Oh, I love that because it can be such a sad moment, but it's really great to be able to celebrate that person. So I love hearing that. Does anybody else want to share? All right, let's move on to the next bullet point, shall we? Number three, what are two things? It has to be a thing. So not a person, not an animal, a thing. What two things are you grateful for? Cousins. What'd you say, Seth? Uh, Cousins and um, family. It can't be people though. So I'm going to challenge you not to choose people. I'm going to challenge you to choose something that doesn't live, just an actual object. That doesn't live. Okay. My cell phone and my iPad, because without uh, these days, without a cell phone, you wouldn't be able to know what was happening in in the world. And then my iPad. So then um, I have a way to get on also to get on like these zoom calls Instead of having to use my phone, I can ha- I have a little computer and to use. I love it, love it. Anyone, anybody else want to share what objects you're thankful for? This one might be a harder one, but warmer weather for me. Weather? That's a great one. Yeah, it warmed up today, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Yes, I know. I was outside a little bit too. Um, I'm thankful for the roof over my head. That's an object, right? I could be living outside, but I have got a roof over my head. It might not be perfect all the time. It might sometimes be messy, but (laughs) at least I've got a roof, you know? Anybody else want to share? All right, let's move on to number four. Number four. Now, this one's going to really make you think, okay? You have to think about yourself for this next one. What characteristics are you grateful for that you have? So it could be your sense of humor. It could be how kind you are. It could be um, how strong you are, whatever. So take a second to think about that. What do you really like about yourself? Maybe you have great hair. Maybe you love your hair. (laughs) Maybe you like your teeth. Tommy, do you want to share something that you like about yourself? Um, I, (laughs) um, sense of humor. What did you say? What was that? Sense, um, sense of humor. Oh, sense of humor. Yeah. Do you like telling jokes? Yeah, like, like, um, like one of my, um, one of my, um, people at, um, my program, um, and, and they see King Cake on it, and, and he says a, a name, and, and we, we, we all laugh, and we said, that's not Makuda. <laughs> so, so pretty much the whole day, like after lunch, we have like tensor creamer and almost everyone was bursting tears. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. Gigi, yeah. what's something that you like about yourself? That I'm kind hearted and that I'm the first that, if I can tell if somebody's having a bad day or if somebody's not just uh, needs a friend or something, I'm the first, like, um, if, if they're, if they look like they might want to cry or something, I'm the first to go over and say, Hey, what's the matter? And if they want to, they can tell me, but they don't have to. Yeah. You are very kind hearted. I would say that too. Uh, Seth, what about you? What's something you like about yourself? Uh, humor. Humor, sense of humor. Yeah, you are a goofball. I would agree. <laughs> Josh, what's something that you like about yourself? That I'm very caring. 
Yeah, I would agree. You, you are a very genuine and caring person. So I would definitely agree. All right, you guys ready for our last bullet point? All right, let's do it to it. Last bullet point for today's gratitude journal. What are you looking forward to for tomorrow? Ooh, health, meeting. It, health meeting. <laughs> health meeting. Well, health meetings on Wednesday, not Tuesday. Okay. Uh, oh, it's tomorrow. <laughs> I know it's not it's not Tuesday. Warmer yeah. weather so that we can go out and do more um stuff. So since it's getting nicer out, we can go out and do more stuff um outdoors like walk or run or ride your bike or yes. shoot hoops or something like that. Yes, 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 yes. I love so, it. SOKS meeting. SOKS meeting. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Warmer weather and um looking for also um, Western Day tomorrow. Western Day tomorrow. Yeah, because that cause, sounds fun. Because the the calendar for March is like like we do stuff, and tomorrow's Western Day. I love it. I love I love that. <laughs> uh, Josh, what are you looking forward to? Uh, the One day, so <laughs> nice, 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 nice. I think I am excited for what am I excited for? Tomorrow? I am excited, guys. I'm excited because I get to see my baby nephew, he was just born today, so I'll get to see Aww. him tomorrow. That's I, what I'm excited for. I, I, I don't want to see any more cold weather here. Since the spring soon. No more cold weather? Yes. Only one more weather. <laughs> I agree. Warm weather makes us all happier, doesn't it? Yep. All right. You guys ready for our little last activity here? And I would say another one that I'd be looking forward to is if we have it is the Sona Move Challenge. Yes. Sona Move Challenge. Yes, yes, yes. Get up, get up and move and track yourself and do all that stuff. Yes, exactly. You guys, I love hearing your responses for these. So um, I'll post this video on YouTube. And when I do, you guys are going to be able to reference this back again. So you can use all the questions that we've already used. And you could do, just do this really quick every morning or every night if you wanted to. Or you could just answer one of the questions. Maybe what were you grateful for that day? It's super easy. Yeah. Takes, takes what? probably two minutes to answer that one question and it boosts your immune system and it makes you happier and it makes you have better relationships and it takes two minutes a day. Okay. So that's something really easy that we can all add. So last thing on here, what are some easy ways you can practice gratitude each day? Um, Josh, what are some easy ways you can practice gratitude? Just, uh, Oh, shoot, I don't know. Just there's several ways you could do it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, get, give me an example, though. What's something easy uh, that you could do? Oh, uh, just calling somebody, one of your friends, and telling them good morning or yeah. have a great day or yes. even text somebody if you have that That's option. perfect. And, and it takes how long to do that? About a half a second, maybe 30 seconds. Yes, exactly. And it probably means a lot to that person that you reached out, doesn't it? Exactly. Yes, Tommy, go. Um, I would say um, wave hi or say hi to the crossing guard at like the school because he, he does or she does the, the perfect job each day, Monday to Friday. Yeah, she stands for a long time, doesn't she? So I'm sure she would have, uh, very much appreciate a smile or how are you or good morning, you know? Um, like like the one on Facebook, um, um, there's a security guard and he's like above my age and I just saw him today and every time I go on the blue bus, I, I see him there. 
and he does the crossing guard. Yeah. Tell and, yeah, smile and say good morning. That's great. I, I was I was on the bus this afternoon, like probably three years or so, and and he was in his car and I waved. Aww, I love that. I bet that made him happy, you know. Yeah. Writing a thank you note to somebody that may not live where you live at and then just saying, you know, just writing some kind words and just sending it to them or not even sending it to them if you don't want to, just read it to them. Yeah. Yeah. Call them up, read it to them or send mail. Nobody really sends mail nowadays. So sometimes it's fun to get a letter from somebody. Physically hold something in your hands. That way, you know, if you need a little pick me up for the day, all you have to do is open up that sweet little card and read it and makes their day, you know, that's perfect. I love it. Um, Seth, what's one way you can practice gratitude? Call your grandparents. Do what? Call your grandparents. Yeah, call your grandparents. That's great. That's something I need to do more often. I definitely need to call my grandparents more, but their grandkids are probably their pride and joy. So they love hearing from you, you know? They love it. Perfect. I love it, you guys. All right. Any questions, thoughts, comments on practicing gratitude? Maybe comments or thoughts on um, any of the questions that I asked you guys today? No afterthoughts? No. Well, great, you guys. It literally takes what? We talked about this. It probably takes a minute if you guys want to sit down for each morning and just answer mm -hmm. questions, say, what am I excited about for the day? Or even better, what's something that I can do to show somebody that I'm grateful for them today? You know, because when you help people, it in turn usually makes you feel better, right? Perfect. So real quick, before we hop off here, I want everyone to think of one thing that they're going to do tomorrow that they're actually going to do tomorrow to either practice gratitude or show somebody gratitude. Think of one thing and you have to do it tomorrow. It's a challenge. Okay. So everybody think of one thing. I'll think of one thing really quick and I'll start. Okay, to practice gratitude tomorrow, I have a hard time waking up in the morning because I'm not an early riser. So I'm gonna get myself excited to get up in the morning. And when I get up in the morning, I'm gonna sit down and I am gonna write what I'm excited for for the day so I can fuel myself to get up and get going because I know I'm gonna be tired tomorrow morning. So I think that'll make me excited. Um, uh, Josh, what is one thing you're gonna do tomorrow? Well, tomorrow, I'm, like I said earlier, going to go out and get a new stove. Perfect. So getting a new stove is super exciting, right? You probably want one that's nicer, that works better. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. Seth, how are you going to practice gratitude tomorrow? Calling my grandparents every day. Awesome. I love it. I love it. Love it. Tommy, what about you? Oh, boy. <laughs> um. <laughs> Say, say hi to the staff and say hi to my friend and maybe the crossing guard if I see him. Perfect. I love it. Just say hi to everybody you walk by, right? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Gigi, what about you? Uh, calling my grandma to see how she's doing because she's, old, she's uh, older and just to make sure that she's doing okay. Good. Just to check up. I love mm -hmm. it. Love it, love it. When I shop, guys, I expect to hear back on how your guys' gratitude practicing goes tomorrow, okay? Mm -hmm. You guys can make it on Wednesday's Zoom. We've got a workout with Prairie Village Police Department. So that'll be fun. And then um, Tyler is hosting a game show night on Friday, and that'll be super fun. I'm not going to be here for that. Oh, no. We'll have it videoed, yeah. though, okay? Oh. We'll do another game night. 
I'm gonna be in case. Yeah, so, that sounds okay. funnier, and I won't be there this week either. But I, I'll yeah, look I'll forward there. to watching that on YouTube. I'll be on Perfect. vacay, so I'm gonna be on vacay. Hey, vacay is so. fun too. Next Monday, we're gonna do a game night too. So if you guys are here next Monday, hop on the game night. All right, whoop, that whoop. sounds like a fun time. Whoop whoop! All right, guys, thanks so much for hopping on. You guys have a fantastic rest of your Monday. You guys are all fantastic, and I will see you on Wednesday. All right, Aaron, bye. All right. bye, bye, bye. bye.